Good morning boys and girls. Today is Monday, the beginning of our week, and that means that we're doing our letter of the week today. And I know Mrs. Garcia is doing our handwriting without tears worksheet for the letter Y, because Y is the letter of our week. And we know now from Mrs. Garcia that it says Y. The letter Y says Y. So let's have a quick practice on how we write our letter Y. So I have my whiteboard here. So I'm going to use my yellow pen because yellow begins with Y. It begins with the letter Y. So let's have a look. We start at the smiley face and we do a little line. This is the uppercase Y. We do a little line down, a diagonal line down, and then we jump to the other side and then we do a big line down, making sure that you touch the little line in the middle. You've got to make sure it touches. So there's the uppercase Y. Let's have a look at a lowercase y. Now a lowercase y is made just the same way. It's made with a little line, diagonal line, and then a big diagonal line. So it's a little line down, jump to the other side, and a big line down. Now the difference between an uppercase y and a lowercase y is the uppercase is bigger than the lowercase, but they sit on different places on the line. So if we say this is a line that we're writing on, this is where the uppercase Y goes. It sits right, it stands rather, right on the top. It stands on the top. Now a lowercase Y sits on it, sits on it. So there's the little line and there's the big line. So that's the difference. That's our uppercase and that's our lowercase Y. But they both say yeah. Okay, so let's put that down and talk about some words that begin with the letter Y. There are quite a few. And let's play a guessing game. I'm going to give you some, um, some clues and I want you to try and guess the Y words that I'm thinking of. Okay, the first one is going to be easy for you guys. And it's a word that you say quite a lot. It begins with the letter Y, of course. And when you say it, you nod your head like this. Can you guess what it is? Can you guess what the word I'm thinking of? Or I'll give you another clue just in case you didn't. The next clue is that when you say this word, you nod your head, of course I said that, but it's the opposite. This word is the opposite of no. Can you guess what it is? Did you guess yes? Yes? Good job, because yes begins with the letter Y. All right, another clue, another uh, word for you to think of, right. So this word is something that you eat, you keep it in the fridge to keep it cold, because it needs to be kept cold, and it comes in a little pot. And when you eat it, you eat it with a spoon. Can you think of the word that I'm thinking of? What is it? Did you think of yogurt? Because if you did, you're right. Yogurt begins with a Y. Okay, last one. So this word that I'm thinking of, we talk about every time we do the calendar. So when you do the calendar with Mrs. Garcia, and I know when we do it in my class, when we do it, we are talking about the days of the week and the months of the, can you think of the word? There are 12 months in this word. And at the moment, we're in 2020, 2020 is the, did you guess year? If you guessed year, you're right. Year. Good job. Year begins with the letter Y. All right, so that was good guessing game. So now I'm going to show you what I'd be writing and drawing in my creative writing book. I'm going to give you some clues and then I'm going to draw it for you. So the thing that I'm going to write in my creative writing book is something that begins with Y and I have two of them. I have one at the front of my house and I have one at the back. And that the one at my back has a swing set in it. Can you think of the word I'm thinking of? Did you think of the word yard? If you thought of yard, then you're right. Yard is what I'm going to be drawing for my creative writing book entry. So you could do yard as well if you want to, or you can do anything else that begins with the letter Y, but that's what I would like you to do today. Draw a picture on a paper and keep it so we can put it in our books at school when we go back to school. Okay, so let me draw my yard. 
So some of you might have seen it um, on my scavenger hunt when I went on my scavenger hunt because uh, when I went on my scavenger hunt, I was in my backyard looking for things. So let me just put that down a little bit so you can see it more. Okay, so let me start drawing my yard. So the first thing about my yard is it has a lot of grass. So I'm going to draw a big, big lawn. That's a lawn. The grass is the lawn. The lawn is made of grass. Okay, so there's my grass. Now, what else am I going to draw on my yard? Well, my yard has a lot of trees. So let me draw some trees. And a lot of the trees are at the back. So let's draw a lot of trees at the back. Like this. Ooh. Lots of tree trunks, as you can see. And let's make it in the summertime. Let's make my my yard be in the summertime so that I'm going to give my trees some lots of leaves because at the moment there are no leaves on there, not really, just tiny little leaves starting to come because we're in spring. So let's pretend we're in summertime. So there are all the trees at the back of my yard. Now my yard also has some bushes down the side that get pretty flowers on um, in the springtime and in the summer. So some of the flowers are, are purple. So let's draw some purple flowers on my bushes. There we go. Just little, I'm just gonna do little dots because when you look at them from a distance, they don't, you can't see the petals. So there are some purple flowers. And on the other side of my yard, I have bushes that have pink flowers. So let's draw some bushes on the other side because they have pink flowers. And let's draw pink, so let me get my pink pen. There we go. And let's draw some pink flowers. I have pink on one side and I have purple on the other. Okay. Good, so there are the, there are the, there are my azalea bushes. I have pink azaleas and I have purple azaleas. So those are my azalea trees. And I also have a patio, so let's draw a patio patio comes out like this and it has and it's made of bricks so I'm just going to put some stones on there to make it look a little bit like a patio because we can some we sometimes sit down at the table there where it's nice and have have a barbecue okay so what else could my yard have oh well of course my yard at the back of my yard before in between all the trees is a swing set so let's draw the swing set my swing set is blue so let's draw the swing set. So my swing set kind of looks like this. And it has two swings on it. And it also has a ladder. And a ladder here. Like this. And it also has a slide that comes down. So let me do the slide. You see, go right up to the top. And then there's a slide that comes all the way down. It's a big slide. There we go, there's the slide. There. So there's a swing set. Now I don't have a dog, but I always thought it would be fun to have a dog running around in the yard. So let's draw a dog. Let's make our dog, let's make us, let's have a black dog. Because I know that dogs love yards. So let's draw a dog in our yard. Two little ears and a little nose and let's give him some four legs to run around and there's his big tail because he's running around in the yard and why don't we give him let's give him an orange ball to play with because we know that dogs love to chase balls so there's the ball for the dog to play with and also in my yard in the springtime especially I have lots of pretty flowers that come out so let's draw some pretty flowers down here Tulips, lots of tulips, they're red, they come out. Let's write some, let's draw some tulips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven tulips. There we go. So we've got flowers, we've got bushes, we've got trees, we've got a swing set. There are lots of things in this yard now. That's what my yard looks like. Oh, I don't have a dog though, like I said before. That's what my yard looks like. But 
your yard might look different from mine. Your, my, your yard might have a swimming pool in it, your yard might have, um, you might want to draw the barbecue in your, in your backyard, uh, it might have a different sized patio. You can draw your yard, go and have a look, go and look out the window if it's not very nice weather, because it's not very nice weather today, but go and take a look and see what you have in your yard. You'll have bushes and trees and flowers, so draw your yard, because I would love to see what it looks like. And we remember, like I said, we have to keep it for our creative writing book. So let me show you one. I drew one this morning just because I wanted to show you a bigger picture. So here's a picture of a yard. Now, is that the front yard or the back yard, do you think? It's the front yard, you're right. And do you see there's the gate and then you walk up the front path and there's the door to the house. So there's a front yard with some sunflowers and bushes and tulips and it has a fence, and up here I've written the word yard. Y-A-R-D spells yard. Okay, boys and girls, so I hope you had fun watching me draw a yard, and I would love to see your yards too. And remember, make sure you keep them so we can put them on our creative writing books. Okay, I'll see you again later. Bye.